It'll taste even better than your favorite takeout place and you'll save money. So, let's get started. Let's get started. quarters of a cup of basmati rice and one and a half cups of water to a saucepan. Stir and bring to a boil. To start, we're gonna cut up the chicken. We have 600 grams of chicken, so each portion is gonna get about 150 grams. We're gonna butterfly it first, very carefully. Make sure all of your fingers are up in the air. Wait, up in the air, what? <laughs> Ta-da! Oh no, we need Adam's trick. Tell us your trick. My cutting board is slipping. Well, you should put wet paper towel underneath. <laughs> I forgot because Adam always puts the damp paper towel underneath the cutting board. So I just uh, put that there and then it doesn't move around as much as it just was on me. <laughs> Cut down the middle and then make small pieces. Once the water is boiling, turn the flame down low, stir, then cover with a lid. Cook until all the water has absorbed. Dice the onion. Put your onions in a bowl to the side. Now for the green onions, we're going to cut the whole thing up, but for the onion mixture, when we first put it in the pan, we're only going to use this part of the onion. This stuff will come later. Cut off this yucky stuff. And slice away. Now put this with the onions. Continue cutting, but save these for later. Boom. To a wok, add two tablespoons of olive oil and turn your heat on medium high. It's lit. Add in your onions and green onions. Saute for about two minutes. Peas everywhere. <laughs> Just gonna measure out 100 grams of peas. Oop. I did not cut this the right way. All oh right. my god. All right, that was a little too many peas. Still too many peas. <laughs> Getting peas everywhere. And now it is. Woo! 100 grams of peas, and I made a huge mess because I forgot my scrap bowl, and I. Adam, I just need you to help me remember to bring scrapples. Look at his face. I'm not happy. What? No scrapple? No scrapple. What have I taught you all these years? <laughs> I need to go and binge watch our videos so I remember these things. <laughs> when the rice has absorbed all of the water, take the pan off the heat and place the rice on a baking sheet with a baking mat. Or you can use parchment paper. The rice needs to be cooled down completely before we add to the chicken. Set aside. Now that the onions are smelling delicious, we're just gonna push them off to the side and crack in two eggs. Mix up the yolk. Now let that cook for a minute. Move it around. Flip it to the other side as best you can. Now mix it all together with the onions. Now we're gonna push this all aside. Add in the chicken. Add in the salt and freshly ground black pepper. Once the chicken is starting to get white, mix it all together. Now instead of using soy sauce, we're gonna add some coconut aminos. It's a great replacement for soy sauce, and you can go back to the chicken saute video where we explain why we love coconut aminos. Add in the two tablespoons of coconut aminos, and let this continue to cook on a medium flame while we go and cut up the carrots. So by the time we peel these and cut off the ends, it'll be about 100 grams of carrot, and as you already know, I have my 100 grams of peas that I already weighed out. And with those peas, we're gonna add in the green onions that we already cut up from before. <laughs> set those aside. We must set those aside. <laughs> Very 
Carefully cut down the middle. Cut on the diagonal. Stir together and let this cook for about a minute. Just to give the carrots a head start of the peas. And once the carrots are a little bit soft, you can add in those peas and the green beans. Look at the colors. Stir all together. Oh man, this looks so good. All right, let that cook for about two minutes. We are ready to add in the rice. Stir it all together. Oh yeah. Add another two tablespoons of olive oil and stir it together. You can hear that nice sizzle. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. <laughs> sizzle, sizzle. <laughs> Turn down the heat. Add in another two tablespoons of the coconut aminos and stir that together. And you're done. This mixture is going to make four meals. So to separate evenly, you can weigh it out. This mixture is about 1200 grams in total, so each container is gonna get 300 grams. Or you can just eyeball it. <laughs> as a meal prep. Don't forget to check us out on Snapchat and Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. And check out some of these awesome comments we've gotten from people who have been losing weight using our meal preps. Thanks for sharing your stories with us guys. And we are so excited for you. Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Hey, hey, get them. I know, I hit, I hit the box. I hit the box. I'm in a box. <laughs> Thanks guys for all the support and loving me and sending us. Uh, because I'm still in Australia and I'll be in America soon, so thanks for all the love. We've been really appreciating all of your prayers and sending us good vibes during this difficult time of being separated, but we're so excited that you're sticking with us and watching our meal preps and loving our silly little things that we're trying to make this exciting. So, that's all for today, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>